Guten Tag. Uh, yeah, we out here. It's uh, cold, and uh, I want to do a tutorial for you. So I thought, why not do something about riding in slippery conditions? Riding when it's wet, snowy. I think here it's quite all right because the, the sand will come out. But anyway, this is part of our. Uh, trials tips for beginners so uh, you have to be able to ride a clean turn because everything you have to correct with your clutch brings you out of momentum balance and slows you down and when you slow down in slippery conditions it ha it's hard to start again so first thing is ride clean and you need twice as much effort as in as when you ride in dry conditions because you are there's no room for errors I made a little turn section here, coming from here, there, and then up there. I think this is quite nice. Make sure to look at your line before. And then, for example, if I would ride over that rock or if there would be roots here, break it up into pieces where you can accelerate and where it's slippy. So accelerate, accelerate where the grip is and close the throttle, roll over the slippy parts, the roots and everything. It's, it's really important to look at it, check, grip, no grip, grip, no grip. And it's always better to be patient enough to wait until there's the grippy spot uh, compared to just rev it over and wait until the spinning rear wheel will hit normal ground again. And uh, it's very hard to control. When you have checked your line and you want to ride it, a very good practice for this is make yourself a section with narrow turns that you can clean easy but not super easy. Try to ride the section without the clutch because when you ride without clutch there's no room for errors. Everything has to be on point. You take that momentum perfectly and it helps you in wet conditions. So training with no clutch is number one. A quick reminder about riding turns. Easiest way to, to remember how to turn is shoulders stay parallel to your handlebars. So when your handlebars move, your shoulders go out like this. When you move the handlebar that way, your body goes to this side because the shoulders stay parallel to the handlebars. Same with this. Inner leg touches the frame and you stay relaxed on the bike. So when you ride in slippery conditions, most important is ride smooth. Move with your bike, here's a narrow turn. And you saw now that I actually made a mistake. And I had to pull the clutch a little bit, had to stop a little bit, and it already made it difficult to start again. You know, you cannot just react, you have to actually be a bit faster than, than the things that happen. You have to anticipate what's gonna happen. So here you ride in the section, here comes a narrow turn, no clutch, and here we go, in control. So remember to be a little bit faster than your bike is. And when I try this turn now with no clutch, first gear, this is what's gonna help me to practice this. Right seconds with, with no clutch. It's very good for your style and for the overall control of the bike. When I say no clutch, I mean full hand on the handlebars. Brakes are allowed, but complete hand on your bars and turn with the bike. It teaches you to be ahead of the, of the bike, always on the, at the right spot. Very good. Okay, second lesson. We go to a more snowy place. Starting in uh, slippy conditions when it's wet. Actually, this is always helpful. Also when it's grippy and you're on a hill. Anyway, main thing is help your bike. When you stand here, obstacles there, hill is there, whatever. Try to avoid to go back fast and then go forward fast because it's uh, a lot of movements and it will take the... Yeah, it's hard to f hit the right line when you move your bike so much. And actually, I don't think that it helps so much to go backwards quickly to be like a, a rubber band on the bike. Go so, back slowly, focus, look where you want to go. Straight bars, go forward and, and you, you help the bike. I mean, this is uh, an exercise. Do it with no engine, 
try to push the bike forward. When you do it with engine, you don't have to, yeah, it'll go, you go forward, but before you arrive here, your bike is moving as well. Just try to move your own body bef before the bike starts moving so the bike doesn't have to pull you, it only has to pull its own weight or maybe even a little less. You know, that's the, the thought behind it. So you start the engine, first gear, both brakes, go back slowly, go forward quickly. And the trick is to start. So it's about throttle control timing, but also think about to end up with your weight on the, on the rear end, on the foot pegs. When you find a nice slippy spot on your home turf, this is your next exercise. Turns with no clutch, set off with the bike, with no engine, and then with engine as smooth as possible. Have fun, thank you for watching.